<laughs> wow. I mean, glitter, actually. On hold music is innocuous, but glitter, if you've ever gotten glitter on your face or whatever, glitter takes a tremendous amount of time to remove. It's like weeks. So yeah, glitter, go back to hell, glitter. Oh God, people who chew loudly, that's disgusting. Like open mouth. Yeah, no thank you. Slurp away, slurp away, people. Those are the worst. Actually, those people. You know what I had the other day in New York? A delivery guy on a bicycle buried in his phone hit me on his bicycle texting. And I was like, that's amazing. <laughs> I don't know, I have a mixed relationship, but social, the jury's still out on social media for me. Jury's still out. I feel like there's some fun stuff still that doesn't have to go to hell, but yeah, traffic jams when I need to go somewhere, you guys can go to hell. <laughs> I mean, that seems like obvious because you don't need to answer those messages, but when they slam that door in your face, you gotta go to hell. Wow, you know what? I can't choose. Those both are going to hell. I don't do the washing up, so I'd have to send my, uh, myself to hell, uh, which I won't do. Uh, people who don't listen to what I say, yeah, psh, I don't like that. I don't like that. We were shooting in Bulgaria, which is like, uh, we were shooting all in the countrysides of Bulgaria, which is a very rural country. And at one point there was um, some cacophony on this bridge. We were trying to do this long shot with this crane. and. There was all this like, oh, 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 this kerfuffle on the bridge. And I was like, we're trying to shoot guys. Like what's going on? And down the bridge, I see a bull from one of the neighboring fields uh, clomping, running down the bridge at me. And the bull came down the bridge, the crew all moved out of the way. It stopped at me and looked at me and like did that thing that they do with their hooves. Sort of like, Whoa. And I clearly he was saying like, you know, because I'm in the full getup, like red, you know, help. And he was like, you shave your horns, man. Like, it sort of felt like that. And then finally, one of the stunt guys was like, we need to get you out of here. And they got me out of there, and then they sort of contained this bull. But that was a very uh, scary moment, feeling like I might die in a Hellboy outfit. You know what I mean? There's no way to cut, you know what I mean? It's in control. And so, yeah, it stopped, and it kind of looked at me. I think it was confused, because it didn't know, you know, I mean, I got horns, too. Like, I think he was like, should I identify with this creature or kill it? Oh yeah, I got tremendously injured in this movie. I'm just too old to be doing these things, you know what I mean? I should have done this movie when I was 20, but nobody wanted me to do this movie when I was 20. But the biggest thing was, which is a weird injury, and it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal, but then once it happens to you, it's a pretty big deal, is like my big toe. It was broken and messed up for a while, and, and I couldn't stop shooting, so I had to just tape it up. But it's surprising how much you need your big toe. You'd think like, you know, I got five of them, but the big one is the one where you don't want to mess with. And so, yeah, the big toe was messed up. The knees got messed up. I got all kinds of bruises and scratches and things like that. But it was mainly that right big toe, man. It was like, it's never recovered. It's still kind of angry. I did a lot of training for the movie, but that is not my body. I mean, the funny thing about the thing, people think that's my body and I'm very gratified, but I don't think there's any way I could do that in life. Like I am not Arnold Schwarzenegger. I guess I could take a ton of steroids and eat like just pounds of meat all day, but I didn't do that. I just put on a suit. But I, I you know, I did some training and I, I lifted a lot of weight and stuff, but the secret diet is you get the suit and then the diet is a lot of pancakes and donuts just to be able to continue to fill out the suit. It's like three hours in the morning, yeah. We got it down to like two and a half, but it's, it's a long time, yeah, it's no joke. That's a good question. I mean, unfortunately, I do feel like the Avengers would have the leg up in the fact that there's like 80 of them and they're all really strong and powerful and Hellboy's kind of this loner outcast, you know? But I think he might uh, wear them down at a certain point with just his sheer resilience and his kind of jokes and his bad behavior, you know? Just they'd feel bad for him at a certain point and just leave him alone. Any one of the Avengers to be his best friend. I want the guy with the bow. I want Hawkeye to be his best friend, just because I'd like to learn archery. I mean, there's so many things he could be doing, right? Like, the world could open up in such a cool way, and he has all these buddies and that he's developing through this movie, and I would like to see more of some kind of squad of buddies and see those interrelationships, because one of the most fun things about Hellboy is, and you see it in one scene at the end of the movie, that he has these idols in his life or these people that 
he loves and has awkward relationships. And that to me is the most fun. So I'd like to see how he interacts with all these people that are his friends and, and, and also, you know, that make him feel all sorts of things inside his very demonic but very simple heart. The BPRD.